Hi, and welcome to Absolute Drinks. I'm Rico, and today we're going to make the Long Island iced tea. There's many stories about the history of this drink. One is that it was a 1920s drink that was used to basically disguise the look of your alcoholic beverage so that it looked like a nice glass of iced tea. But let's just jump straight into it. Take your cocktail shaker, and we're going to start building everything into the small side. Cheapest ingredient first, always. We're going to add in one part lemon juice. Next, we're going to get our one-to-one -one simple syrup. Going to add one part. So, we've got one, two, three, four, five alcoholic products going in. We're only going to be putting in halves. So half of the absolute vodka, half of beef heater gin. We're going to go straight into some tequila. We want half of this. Havana, all the way from Cuba, some great Cuban rum. We're gonna stick half in. And then last, just to give it a little bit of a fruity note, we're gonna stick some triple sec in there, which is an orange liqueur, and we want half. Ice. And time to shake. Ooh, looking good. We're gonna ice this glass up straight away. Doesn't matter if you make a mess. Got my Hawthorne strainer. Go straight in. No need to fine strain, because we're already putting this into a glass filled with ice. And then, you only need a little bit of cola. Don't remember, this has got to look like an iced tea. So you can go fancy and just pour a little bit in so that it layers. But if you want to go original, just give it a little stir. With any spoon. Let's take some lemon. I like to do it lemon wheels. And then just stick them into your nice little glass. And there you have it, guys. Long Island iced tea. It I mean, you'd be quite surprised how like all those five spirits blended together can actually be that palatable, but that is a refreshing drink. Long Island iced tea, perfection. Enjoy your summer.